morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a very quick um, skincare routine, and then I'm going to do my makeup for today. And I'm wearing a very bright, fun shirt, so I'm going to do a slightly different makeup routine. But I have done on Sunday the my favourite cleansing balms and have a look on Trini London Tea Time. But one I didn't add, which I haven't used for so many years and I tried again yesterday, is Amanda Lacey, there she is. And this is a woman whose products I used probably about seven or eight years ago. And she has this cleansing balm, which is different from the De Mamiel. It's not as buttery. It's got a lovely citrusy texture, but I forgot how much I loved it. And if you're somebody who adores a cleansing balm, it has a wonderful citrusy smell. I don't quite know the ingredients, but I do know the penetration is excellent. So there she is, Amanda Lacey. Good morning, everybody. And I'm just gonna have a little bit of a morning massage with this, even though it is 11.19 in London. Um, I raced in this morning to the office. I had such a morning because I went early to a bar class. I'm feeling the need. How many of you are feeling the need to get your body ready for summer? I had a very good routine in January and I went and I had a trainer every other day, Natalie, who some of you met on Facebook. And I really got into it. And then February became really busy March uh, month and so did March and I did no exercise. So now it's April, it's not sunny today in London, it was yesterday. I'm not wearing socks. <laughs> and I just thought I've got to start again. But financially, I can't afford right now a personal trainer. So I'm back to my gym where I'm doing classes. And I started two days ago doing a bar class. So I did Pilates um, and now I did a bar class this morning. So I, you know that feeling when you're going back in the gym and everything is tricky. You, you know, I was doing this kind of plies pointy toes and I was thinking, I can't even bend my knees. So frustrating, but I got through it. And it's that thing when you wake up in the morning, setting your alarm clock an hour earlier so you can do something. Um, so I'm not gonna go out very much over the next couple of weeks. I'm doing a bit of traveling and I'm just gonna focus on trying to get back in a routine. So I don't, many, I don't know how many of you are trying to get back in a routine or feeling what I'm feeling, but um, I'm sure there's many of you that are. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, you love a bear, a bar Pilates combo. You know the feeling. Thank you. Um, but anyway, Amanda Lacey, there we are. Really lovely cleansing balm. It is not a high street one. It's not as expensive as De Mamiel, but it's a beautiful product and it's going to leave. Um, do I like parties? Um, sometimes I'm not good at parties unless I know all the people in the room, because otherwise I end up hiding in the bathroom, feeling kind of a little bit shy. I'm not shy with you ladies here, but I can just feel a little bit shy. Um, good morning, Michelle. Have you tried Alimem MD skincare? I haven't. Um, I, whenever you're doing this, at the end of this post, I always write down um, what you've all recommended and go and look at it online, just so you know. Um, I do do that. So clean face and with the Amanda Lacey, I don't feel any tightness in my face, which is great. Um, and I'm going to go on to, what am I going to do today? I'm also going to be redoing my vitamin C's and I'm testing out again my favorite ones. And I've got the Ordinary's vitamin C. I did try the new vitamin C powder from The Ordinary and I didn't like it. I don't care that it was 100% azorbic acid. I found the application of it not very good and it just, it just didn't, it wasn't easy to apply. I prefer the Julia Hunter powder. Um, so I'm going back to their very good vitamin C, which is 30% in silicone. And this is a much better product than their other one, I think 20%, which um, it feels a bit rough. So this one is more smooth as a cream. It's got a good percentage of vitamin C. It's actually a really great product. There's a little bit of tingle when you put it on. And it's very, very, you know, if I had to think of one thing that was key in a routine for any age group, I would say vitamin C, because it is going to ultimately, if you have daily application of vitamin C, it's ultimately going to help with your um, 
with your evenness of your skin tone. And the thing I think that makes us feel good about our skin, well, for me personally, is when I look and I feel there's a real evenness of skin tone. So if you suffer from pigmentation or you have a few little spots that you've been picking, then just a daily application of vitamin C is gonna re help reduce the, um, reduce the um, scarring and also help with um, the unevenness and any kind of little um, melasma that you might have some some skin pigmentation. What key skincare products would you suggest for younger skin? I would say Little Owl, I can't read what, Little Owl laughs, that I would say vitamin C is a key part. And what's great about The Ordinary is that is something like six pounds. So for your, you know, budget, maybe you're early in your career and you know, you've got a budget. My thoughts on hyaluronic acid and vitamin C combination serums, I think it's fine. What hyaluronic acid is doing is retaining the moisture, but there's new hyaluronic acids I'm looking at. There's new concepts in hyaluronic acid because traditionally it would retain the moisture, um, but it would just leave a sort of stickiness. And now there's, there's better combinations of ingredients that allow a hyaluronic to have good penetration to retain the moisture inside your skin and what hyaluronic does is it goes in and you want it to expand by a few hundred percent and that's what plumps up your skin and slightly reduces wrinkles and some products I think do it okay and some do not do it at all um, so that's my thought on vitamin C what about talcum powder tons of vitamins in facial in in taco dust I don't know Talk about it, I don't know. Uh, I don't know it. Take it out with Goo from Australia. Um, good morning, good morning. So I'm now gonna go on, sorry, I'm just reading as I'm going. I'm now going to do, there's two products here I wanted to try, and I wasn't sure which one I should try with you. There's Subtle Energies, which is Ayurvedic medicine, and this is a rejuvenating gold cream. This is a real, actually I love this product, but there's also Is Clinical Reparative, um, moisturizer and I haven't tried this yet and I don't know what's in it but you know how much I like eye shield um, they're the ones who have the recovery balm if you have any irritation on your skin and they have a wonderful warming honey cleanser that I also included in my balms this goes on beautifully oh really beautiful really nice love love I'm gonna find out what's in it and do a proper review of it when I'm doing my serums in the next few days. But I like the idea of not caking my skin in a moisturizer. I always feel a moisturizer is something that people least need because if you're getting the pH balance right on your skin and if you're cleansing your skin without stripping it and if you're putting on good serums, which you can always, like I'm going right up under the eye here. I generally do not use eye cream. I use. The only eye cream I use is Sizzly, and that's just because it has a lovely feel to it, the eye and lip cream. But don't feel you have to add an eye cream generally to your routine. Oh, that is so good, so good. Bit of a tingle to it too. I'm gonna find out what's in it. I'm sorry I didn't read properly what was in it before. Let me just, let me just see if there's something on the back here. Because I saw this and I thought I have to know absolutely nothing. Designed for use in the morning and evening. Restoring, hydrating, smoothing. Um, innovative skincare eye shield. Okay, what's the highest retin-A safe to use? I just got 0 0.5 from pharmacy, is that okay? 0 0.5 is fine. Um, retinol's percentages don't always mean that's the strongest they are, because it depends what they are. If it's a stabilized form of retinol, it's going to actually be a lower percentage, it's gonna have a lower effect on you. So for example, the ordinary has a 2% retinol in squalene, but the 1% retinol is stronger. So um, if you've got it from a pharmacy and it's pure retinol, retin A, 0 0.5 sounds good. Start gently, if it's a pure form, you are going to have that little flaking. Um, vitamin C for me, I use morning and actually sometimes I use morning and evening because I'll use at night DCL's Vitamin C Night Booster, which is a wonderful product. Um, soap or oh, sorry i'm just going hang on there what soap or products are good for acne face and remember to follow me um i think soap can be drying there are a few brands that do soaps but i think having a good um light glycolic cleanser is is a good thing to do um lush i like sweet the vitamin c vitamin f oil i have not tried from the ordinary um 
um, got my salary next Tuesday, my order is done. Okay, ladies. So I'm gonna now show you, when I'm doing my makeup, I do think about what I'm wearing, and today I'm wearing quite bright colors and I'm wearing a pattern. So I'm gonna do something to, to match the strength of the pattern on my face. So I'm gonna start off with my BFF. Even though it's not sunny today, I was saying last night on Instagram, I'm gonna do one plot of each. And some people have said to me with the BFF, two plots of each, um, three or four actually today, um, how much should you use? Because as we are SPF 30, you need enough. So if I'm in the sun, this is how much I use. It's probably about four plumps, pumps, but I need that much on my face in order for the um, SPF to work. So I wanna feel I've covered my whole face in it like you would a sun cream, and then I'm gonna get the protection I need. In the evening, I might just do two pumps um, because I don't do so much protection. But another important thing to remember, which I am really researching now, is how much, I said this before, the use of computers and our, our phones, that light, that UV damage is affecting our skin. So once I research more, I will come and share with you my findings but many people now are putting a blue screen on their phone to reduce the impact of that um, free radical of the screen onto their skin. So an SPF is good to have when the sun is not out too. I think that's, that's my point. Um, I'm gonna now do some just a touch. I've got quite tired eyes right now and some of you ask about just a touch that you think um, it's drying and it's drying if you don't have moisturizer under your skin or if you have an oily skin, you don't have the BFF because you just, you know, it, I find it undrying actually, but you need, some, you need a, a moisturized skin to put on any kind of foundation unless your skin is really oily just to enable it to move. But ours is incredibly concentrated and there's a tremendous amount of pigment. And what was very, very important for us when we were making this um, product is that when it's on, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between where your skin ended and your foundation began, but you would be able to cover up. So I'm gonna cover up there my dark circles and I'm going to do a little bit around my chin because I did some micro needling last night and it's a tiny bit red still. So I plop that on and then I just blend it in like that. Um, and I blend a tiny bit around my eye and I go right into the corners of my eye too, because I want to have a very light bit inside the corner of my eye. So then I've got my, I've got my cover on. I want to show you that I do do my makeup in two minutes because I pontificate here a lot and I'm just gonna do now succinctly and then answer your questions. So I'm gonna use Starlight and Starlight is a highlighter and I just put a little bit here. I go slightly on my brow bone too, just to lift my eye there. Do you see it just gives a nice pop to the eye? And as I'm going to do a slightly darker lip, I'm not gonna do too much on my eye. So I just do the other side like that, and then a little bit up there. And if you're really um, dark in the corners of your eye, you can take a tiny bit with your finger or with a little brush if you want to, and just get lightness there on the inner corner of your eye and just pat it out. So now my eyes have improved and I'm just gonna go on to a little contouring, cheekbones in, I take Kate. I take the tiniest amount and I just go underneath my cheekbone and I draw it in. And it's going to just give you shape to your face. I don't want to particularly see the product on my face. And last thing, I'll do the other side like that. And then it also helps if you get the palm of your hand and you just press in like that, you smooth out the line and you just get the contour. So now you see I have a contour to my cheekbone. I can use this too if I'm in a rush. I will actually use it and I'll show you today how I do. Not for everyone's match to me, but I'll use it on my eyes as my eye cream, as my, um, just a contour of my eyes today. I don't want to have a, a dark makeup on my eye, but I just want to have a tiny bit like that there. And it's just given a little oomph to it. I'm then gonna go on to Dahlia. Oh, I've got Dahlia today. I love Dahlia so much. Um, and no, I'm actually, sorry, before I tell a lie, I'm gonna do a little bit of fortune. It's a bit of a shiny, slightly, a little bit of shine to it. And I think some women are scared of using 
a shiny eyeshadow. But I think what I like with the quality of ours is it doesn't crease in your brow. And this little fortune color has a little bit of gold in it. And it's very good for a blue eye <laughs> like that. And then I'm gonna end with Dahlia. Look at that color. Start with a little bit and just build it up. And it is going to complement what I'm wearing because it's got a bit of plumminess to it. Like that. And I just put it on with my finger. There. There we go. There. And you see, as the more I put on, the bluer my eyes are going to become. It's incredible, ladies, how if you want your eye colour to pop, it really does depend on what um, lipstick you use. There. And I'm done. Um, I'm going to add a tiny, tiny bit of, what am I going to add, which I felt I didn't have, which I was going to add, and I haven't got it here, cheap. Let's see if I've got one here. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a little Electra. It's the softest colour pink. I don't want too much colour because I've got a strong colour on my lips, but then when you wear a lip colour, and you have a very white face, the lip can dominate. So if you put a tiny bit of blush on your cheek, again, it's gonna bring out the color of your eye and it's gonna balance out that lip. So there I am, done for the day. Um, and um, I will answer some of your questions. Who should use glycolic acid? Is it a no-no for those with mild acne? I think glycolic acid is a yes-yes for those with mild acne because it's very good at resurfacing the skin. And when you have acne, you want to use products that do that. I believe when I had acne, I did a lot of exfoliation. I did glycolic. So I wouldn't say it's a no-no at all. There are some very good glycolic cleansers like Neostrata has a daily uh, cleansing gel with glycolic in it. And it's especially good for people who have problems with their skin. So. I'd say the opposite. Um, just back for Rose at the USA, took my new stack with me, fabulous, won't go anywhere without it. Margaret, thank you so much, darling. Um, good morning, everybody. Good morning, there's lots of you here online. I pour orange juice all over my face. Do you suggest that? Is it a good way to get vitamin C? I'd say no, because I don't think it's gonna penetrate. Everything we put on your skin is about the size of the monocle, a molecule and the ability for it to penetrate the dermis um, or epidermis. So. I'd say that's not a good idea. Which SPF cream would you recommend for oily skin, please? Love your outfit, thank you very much. I love Helio Care 360. It's in a mousse. It's very good for oily skin and it gives a wonderful finish. It's, it's a brilliant, brilliant product. Um, Helio Care 360. Still a master student, so definitely on a budget. Did you say the ordering was six pounds, 30%? I think it's like six or seven pounds, yes. It's the best price of vitamin C to me on the market for what you, know, what you might want to get out of a vitamin C. What cream to use under your BFF? That depends on your skin. So I generally use a, a, a moisturizing, hydrating serum or a light moisturizer, and then I use my BFF. If you have an oily skin, you could go from serum straight to your BFF because there is hydration in the um, BFF, but not for very dry skin, I would, I would put something. Glycolic toning lotion, yay or nay, London girl. It depends on your skin. I do use light glycolic. I use um, P50 from uh, Biologique Recharge. Uh, there's a nice glycolic from The Ordinary. But if you have dry skin, maybe every other day. Um, if you have an oily skin, you could use it every day. Um, sorry, just going through quickly to see, um, to see your questions. Um, thank you, I know. I, I, this outfit makes me so happy. It's from a woman called Victoria... No, Vanessa Seawood, I think. Vanessa Stewart or Seawood. And she's a lovely French designer and I got it in the sale um, in last winter. And I'm very happy I've got it. I haven't worn it that much, but I love it. Makes me, makes me feel good. Um, what's the best brand vitamin C? I'd say it, if you've got a budget, I still love CE for Lyric. I love DCL Vitamin C Night Booster. Um, and I like Julia Hunter's um, vitamin C um, powder. I am doing a full review of my vitamin C um, choices in Secret 7, and I'll probably do that in two weeks' time. What is BFF, my shit? It um, stands for your best freaking friend, and it's a product you put on that changes the color of your skin, and you put it underneath your um, foundation, or instead of foundation. 
Um, so that's that. Is BFF not greasy? No, it's not really at all. It's got a little bit of um, glow to it. It's got extract of porcelain flour, which reduces inflammation. Um, and I'd say it's not greasy at all. Um, but it's a little, a little um, the pre's and pubes of darker skins, please. It leaves a white residue. Share my world, darling. We are doing, we're going to do another shade, which will be darker. And that will help because at the moment, um, we, we didn't have a light medium, which we're putting in, and then we're putting in a darker shade. So please be patient because I'd love you to use it. But in the meantime, there's some really wonderful, the foundation and concealer, and I'd love you to try it because it's a very good product um, to put on just to even out your skin tone as well. Um, anyway, I think I'm there because I better go down for my call. Oh, I've got to go for my call now. Um, have a lovely day, ladies. On, on this afternoon, I'm going with Chloe to Zara and I'm gonna do a shop up and I'm going to hopefully do it live. If I can't, we'll put it out on Facebook later and I'll do my best buys on the, uh, in the next week. But um, have a wonderful weekend if I don't catch up with you uh, again and I'll see you next week. Otherwise, see you Facebook on Friday. Facebook on Friday, I have got Joe Fairley, doyen, owner of Green and Black Chocolate and the perfume box. Um, and she knows so much there is to know about fragrance. So if you're really interested in fragrance, and when I say fragrance, I mean from room sprays to things we spray on us to oils on our body, but, but those aromas and smells that make us feel fabulous, we're gonna have so much knowledge from her on Sunday, I can't wait, so please um, check in then. And um, Sweden, anyone from Sweden, we are going to be there on 26th and 27th in Stockholm, we're doing some masterclasses, and we'll have some things going out tonight on Facebook, so look out for it. Mwah. Bye.